Well, heck of a football game. Really proud of the way our guys, um, you know, hung in there and battled and figured out a way to get it, get the game won. Um, first of all, I got to give Tulsa a lot of credit. I thought they really, their team played hard. They played, they played well. Uh, they had a good game plan. You know, and, and we knew it's funny. You know, matchups are, are funny sometimes in football, and, and there's some teams you just, you know, are tough matchups. And we kind of thought this was a tough one coming in, um, just their style of play and the way they play, and and. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a dog fight, and, and you've got to give our players a lot of credit. I mean, it was awesome for a, for us to go down 21, and just for them to keep playing and hang in there and figure out a way to get to win the game. And so it's a real credit to their character and, and who they are, and really proud of their effort. And, um, you know, we told them at halftime that, you know, just not to worry about the score, just keep playing hard and chipping away. And and then we go down 21, and um, you know. At that point, it didn't look very good, but you could tell our players were still were still in it. You know, they were still going to fight and, and scratch, and they did. And, and the ball bounced our way a couple times down the stretch, and figured out a way to win it. So, heck of a ball game, and and uh, like I said, really, really excited about the win. What, what's kind of, what was your feeling like when you walk off the field? I mean, what are you kind of doing? Can you, can you take us through just the last few? Minutes? Yeah, I mean, I think I think you know, it's just you're just trying to. There's so much going on, you know, just what you're thinking about in terms of. You know, trying to, to figure out, you know, do we want to go for two and, you know, certain situations and uh, and so much of that's just the feel, you know, for your team. And, you know, we felt like their defense was a little bit worn out. So our inclination is usually to try to win the ball game, um, you know, with a two-point conversion. But we felt like that, you know, their defense had been on the field a lot in the fourth, fourth quarter and uh, felt like they started to wear down a bit and, and uh, made sense for us to try to extend the game as much as we could. Um, you know, first half we were out of sync. You know, we just weren't the the we didn't play particularly well. The we just our timing was bad. Um, you know, routine plays that we normally make we didn't make, and, and we looked up and we were in a hole. But to answer your question, you know, I don't know. There's a lot that goes through your mind, mostly just about um, you know just how how proud of you are of, of your team for fighting. You know what I mean? And I told the locker room after the game that you know not to get too. Uh, philosophical, but you know, I mean, there's everybody's going to have go through some hard times in their life, and it's going to, you know, they're going to have to battle back from things that they look, look, they look pretty hopeless, and you know, they can they can refer to this the rest of their lives and remember that, hey, look, the best thing I can do is just keep my head down and keep working hard and expect something good to happen, and if you do that, then then you know, there's a chance it will. You talk about James Pro Day's performance, 11 catches, two touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Reggie went out, and so you know, James James needed to step up and make some plays, and, and became kind of the go-to guy. Certainly made made two big touchdowns. You know, the one hidden touchdown, and the uh, and then obviously the one at the end. You know, we had him open a bunch in the first half, just just didn't get him the ball. You know, we missed some throws, and we're out of sync. And you know, like I said, usually stuff that's pretty routine for us, we we, we just weren't executing early in the game, and. You know, one thing about our receivers, whether it's James or Reggie or, or really any of those guys, Myron or, you know, the whole bunch, um, it's good to see Rasheed Rice get some action. I thought he really played well for, for a young player. I thought he did some good things. Um, but, you know, you expect those guys to make plays just because they have, you know. And, and you know, you figure if, if James has got a chance to, to come down with it, he's going to. And, and he certainly, you know, made a couple of big catches tonight. I thought, yeah. thought he performed well. And I think. You know, I'm really happy for James just because, you know, he did the same thing. I mean, he, he was good on the sideline. He, he never got down. Um, you know, was very determined and, and um, you know, just grinded. Uh, so it was, was proud to see that. How was Reggie doing? Yeah, Reggie's fine. I think he just got hit. It, I think fell on his head. I think he'll be fine. When you got here like two years ago, did you did you feel like this could have happened this quickly or, or even anything close to this, this type of start, this type of season? Well, I kind of felt like um, – you know, I, I think, you know, I, I, we were going to be improved. I knew that. You know, I knew that our players were, um, you know, the buy-in was so much better year two than it was year one. You know, I think that our guys had a great offseason. And, you know, the offseason is really critical to, to how they play now and how they perform now. And so I thought we had a great offseason. We, we added some players that I thought were important to add, you know, via – transfers or walk-ons or high school players or whatever and, and just added some guys to our roster that you know that filled in some pretty critical spots for us and gave us some depth um, I think two weeks in the fall camp 
you know, I felt like we had a chance, you know, to, to have a good football team. And, you know, we told our players that. I mean, you know, when you're around these guys all the time, I mean, you know, you know, you go to practice every day and you watch and, you know, you go, well, we know we're starting to look good here and this starts to look pretty good. And if we can get this to come on and improve, then, you know, then we're going to have a chance to, to do this or do that. And, you know, just guy after guy after guy in critical situations has stepped up for us, you know, that needed to step up, you know, whether it was, you know, Richard McBride filling in for Richard Moore or, or Brandon Stevens, Stevens filling in, you know, at the corner spot and solidifying the corner spot for us, or Armani making the big jump that he's had, or, you know, or the right side of the offensive line just kind of coming together. It's just been fun to, to watch the guys work and, and improve and get better and, and the confidence that comes with that. You know, we tell our guys all the time the confidence really is just is, is preparation, you know, and, and we're playing with confidence right now because our guys know that they're working hard and they're prepared and, you know, they paid the price to, to have a chance to be successful. So, you know, we felt like coming into the year we had a chance and, you know, if, you, if you're ever going to play, play for a coach for a championship football team, you got to win some games like this. I mean, that's just part of the road to a championship is winning, winning some games that, you know, at some point in the game, you know, you kind of think, well, this is not going to go our way. Um, but if you want to you have a championship team, you, you figure out a way to win those. You talked about asking your players to keep their head down and keep grinding, and but then in the, tw in the second half, you're down 21, and it was starting to look grim. When you took, turned three first-half takeaways into only nine halftime points, yeah. was there a point when you thought this is getting a lot uh, early? I mean, when it was 30-9, to nine, you know, we didn't have it a lot. We had, we had no momentum at all, you know, and you could feel, you can feel the momentum at that time. And then, you know, we pieced a drive together, and it was tough. I mean, I think we converted six or seven fourth downs. So none of this stuff was easy. I mean, it was, you know, we were having to convert a lot of fourth, fourth and ones, fourth and twos, fourth and threes that kept drives alive. Um, and, you know, you, you can feel the momentum start to shift a little bit on the sideline. You know, and I thought we put that drive together, cut it to 14, and then held them and then scored again, cut it to seven, and then figured out a way to score at the end. You know, you could, you could see the momentum starting to shift. And uh, you could feel it on the, on the sidelines. You know, and then in overtime, it was kind of one of those, you know, who knows. Once Xavier fumbled, obviously it didn't look great. Um, but, you know, I thought it all just kind of fell into place for us. Xavier, he really came on. I mean, he had the fumble, but he really came on, and you guys were having a lot of trouble running the ball. Yeah. Um, how did you know, – why did you guys – Well, it's just kind of, it's kind of a wear him down type of thing. You yeah. know, we thought coming into the game this was going to be – you know, we talked about it kind of and said this before, but this is going to be more of a second-half game, you know, when it came to running the football. You know, we were just going to have to keep coming away and, and – Make some first downs and and you know play with some tempo and start to wear them down a little bit and, and I know we had a 19 play drive I think we had a 16 play drive you know we started to you know to nickel and dime them and, and get them on their heels a little bit and, and then when we got them in some man coverage then you know some guys made some one on ones and you know we just didn't do that in the first half we just didn't make enough first downs and and uh, certainly didn't make any of the plays or throws in, in those one on one situations that we needed to make. You mentioned Armani Johnson, and he had a couple of picks early, including obviously the one that he scored on. But he also gave up a couple later. And it looked like one where the, the secondary got their signals crossed, yeah, and his yeah. guy walked yeah, in. Yeah, twice. Yeah, twice. We we you know had some you know four verticals, didn't play a switch route one time uh, right, uh, another time just didn't play uh, uh, four verticals properly. I don't know what exactly happened. I think there was a miscommunication on one of them, and they could chase the safety or the the corner chase the post on the other one, but. You know, we gave them two easy touchdowns, you know, and, and, um, and that's been uncharacteristic for us. I mean, we haven't done that. I mean, you know, we've given up some points, but it's been, you know, people have earned it against us. And today, you know, there were some situations where, you know, we played a little bit out of character. Now, considering those mishaps on defense and the sluggish, sluggish start to the offense, how important was it to see your team bounce back? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, like I said, I thought it was big. I mean, I thought once... You know, the, the momentum started to shift and we started to play with some emotion and started to play off each other a little bit. That was big. Um, you know, like I said, I think we played tight the first half, you know, and I think that was probably probably on me as much as it was anybody else. You know, I think, you know, we all try to kind of ignore some of the noise and, and you know, when our players aren't used to maybe some of the attention that we got and some of the um, additional things sometimes you know, it's not like we had a, a self-inflated ego or something. It was just, I think it made our guys a little bit nervous, maybe a little tight. And I thought we, we played a little tight the first half. I thought I probably coached a little tight the first half. And I think our, the players probably fed off me. So I told those guys, you know, the first half was on me. And, and the second half was, you know, we just relaxed and, and played football in the second half.
you guys are bowl eligible now? I mean, is that obviously when you're five and zero, you're not really thinking. Remember yeah, no, no, not really. I mean, it's 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 nice, you know, yeah. but you know, not really. Cause we have, we have, we haven't talked about it once to, to the players, and so uh, you know, it's good that we're going to go to a bowl game. But I think we all kind of felt like we would. And lastly, just uh, the the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Yeah, that yeah, that was, that was my. It was on me. It was. We went into the game. There's a couple of pre-snap stuff that happens sometimes with, with, with Tulsa that we asked the officials to watch, and, and it happened two or three times. They didn't call it, and, you know, I got mad about it and shouldn't have. You know what I mean? I was trying to get the officials' attention and walked out in the field and they gave me a penalty for going on the field. Um, you know, that, like I said, I, I think I was probably a little tight the first half, and I think I probably rattled our players a little bit. You know, you know that was my fault. Once I kind of got relaxed, a little bit more relaxed in the second half, they played a little more relaxed. And, I got to do a better job. You mentioned the fourth downs. Have you ever had a team go six for seven on fourth downs? Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, look, I've coached in a lot of games like that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> um, yeah. But going six for seven, I mean, it's 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 big. You know, I mean, it was um, it was um, you know we had to have every one of them. You know, they were all critical, and and there were some drives. I think that 19 play drive. I think we went for it three times, maybe on that drive alone, just to. To get ourselves back in the game, and uh, you know we had to be real aggressive, and, and you know got to credit our players who made plays when we needed to. What does a game like this do for you and the team going into Bowl Five? Well, it's big. I mean, it's a bit big for us. I mean, to be able to go into a bye week, you know, undefeated, with some momentum. Um, you know, the, the bye weeks are a funny thing um, because you know everybody thinks they're good. And I think they are. You know, I mean, we're 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 worn down. I mean, that's a tired football team. Um, but you know, heck, when you're playing good and you got your routine and all that, I mean, last thing in the world I want to do is not play a game on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? And I think we need it, and, and we got to manage it the right way, and and, uh, and make sure we we get better. I mean, the thing about a bye week, sometimes I think it, it's a misconception out there that you know it's time off. And it, we have to improve. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things we got to improve on, and so we got to have. You know, three or four really good practices next week, and then and then get ourselves into, you know, get a head start on Temple, and and uh, you know, get an extra day or two to get the game plan in, and, and really get solidified and, and locked in on those guys. So it's it's that delicate balance that you talk about all the time between you know what's the, what's the line where you, you, know, you get enough work, but you also get enough rest, you know, and, and these guys are tired, and we're going to give them until Tuesday off. You know, typically we go on Sunday and. Told them I'd see him Tuesday morning, so we'll, uh, you know, we'll hit the road. We'll hit, we'll hit the, hit the right run, ground running hard and fast on Tuesday, trying to get ready for Temple. Biggest crowd of the year. I don't know what the final number was, but what was that like for you and your team just to see them? Yeah, it was on fun. I mean, I appreciate our fans for coming out and staying with us and supporting us and, and not leaving. You know, and and um, you know, it's fun when you have a team like this because you know we're never out of a game. You know, what I mean, if, if the guys will just keep believing and keep fighting, you know, that this will be one of many comebacks, you know, like this that we'll end up making at some point just because, you know, once you kind of figure that out, then, then you're never out of a ball game. <laughs> Good job, brother. Hey, you made a couple plays down the stretch, huh? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, it is, but it was fun. Proud, proud of those guys, man. It's, it's, it was fun. Fun night. Yeah, fun night. Again, thanks to our fans and appreciate them being there and supporting us and Hopefully we'll see him again in two weeks. <coughs> Can you just talk about your kicking situation tonight and how big it was? To yeah. Ooh, well, after the, after the first extra point was blocked, you know, then then we blocked one of theirs. I mean, it was kind of strange. I'm not gonna lie to you. The last three extra points I didn't watch. <laughs> um, you know, I just was like, but you know how it is. You just gotta. The guys just went out and did their job. You gotta have some confidence in them. And we've had some woes. We're six games in and still haven't made. All our extra points in one game, but we made enough plays, you know, to to give ourselves a chance to win. And those extra points were all important and big, and and uh, you know they were critical, obviously.